Crafty friends, and happy Tuesday. It's Hannah at the Doodle Bug in Jasper, Indiana, and I have got some great, fun, new stuff to show you guys. Um, so while I wait for a couple eyeballs to pop on here, that way in case anybody has any questions, I'm not running through things too quick. A little bit about what is going on in the store this week. So, a couple big things. One, we have our Copic coloring class on Saturday. Now, First class of the day is going to be hair and fur, and currently hair and fur is sold out, and we've got a waiting list started for it. Second class that starts at one is reds. So working with reds, how to deepen them even with browns to get even more depth out of your reds, I do have four spots for that class. So that's some classes that are coming on. And then, really important, on Sunday, so this coming Sunday, we have bonus Sunday hours. Since it's summertime and Emily wants some summer hours before she goes to college, we can do bonus hours. Currently, we have bonus hours set for um, one Sunday in June, July, and August. So between her travel softball schedule, that's about all that we could squeeze in. For her to work here at the store but we do have bonus sunday hours so my out of town girls you have an extra weekend day at one time um, for every month coming up and our first one is going to be this sunday from 11 to 3. now if you are an out of town group and you would like to shop on sundays if you have a group of about six or more coming in we will open for you guys because with six people in the store on a Sunday in a few hours, that kind of, you know, helps us, you know, kind of guarantee we're probably going to be able to pay for labor and the utilities. And that's the big thing on Sundays because Sundays can be amazing or my girls can be sitting here just kind of, you know, watching the clock. Um, so we've got to be able to pay the rent on those days and labor and things like that. So, all right, well, we've got a few eyeballs, so let's go ahead and get started. I've got some fun restocks on Doodlebug Designs for you guys. I've got some new woodware gnome stamps for you guys to show you. Um, Nuvo, we've restocked our Nuvo section, so I've got some great Nuvo colors here. Um, I've got a new Noah's Ark from Echo Park to show you, and then lots of great reorders. So I'm gonna flip the camera around. And we're gonna go from here. All right, first up from Doodlebug Designs, let's check out everything we got new from Doodlebug. So we got back in stock the Doggone Cute paper line. It is great primary colors. And I know the first time when I showed this to you guys, there is enough really good primary in here that, you know, if you do a couple dog theme pages and then you've got all this extra stuff left over, it's good primary colors to where you're going to be able to utilize it on other pages as well. Uh, papers that are in here and then also sticker sheet. Love. I always love the cute little borders that they give you guys, especially love this little scallop border with the rainbow paw print. So fun. So again, that's called Doggone Cute. I'm gonna jump over just a little bit because we also got in the Doggone Cute Petite Prince Assortment. So these are kind of like solids, but they've got a little, little something to them. So we've got that in. And if you are just a solids girl or you're wanting colors to match perfectly so you can use it in your silhouette or your Cricut to do different layered cuts and titles, we also got in their solid assortment as well. So that is Doodlebug Designs for Doggone Cute. And then Pretty Kitty. We needed to restock some stuff for our Pretty Kitty as well. So this one here, as you can see, dogs get primary, cats get pastelis. So we've got these beautiful pastel colors and, and a lot of the same thing. You've got a lot of good basic prints in here that you can use them on other things as well. So Pretty Kitty Collection Kit back in stock. Here's the sticker sheet on the back. Also in that Pretty Kitty line, we were already sold out of this adorable little trio. You've got three little cats in a box, and this is called Kitty Litter. Not what I was thinking when I first read Kitty Litter. I am thinking of the stuff I have to scoop every day for Miss Cindy. All right, so there's that. Um, so that is it from Doodlebug. In our last live when we got these in we sold out of these brand new rub-ons from prima um brand new for us this is a line that we decided to restock 
And for whatever reason, when I got it the first time, either I did not get the rub-ons or they were out of stock. So we've added in the rub-on sheets this time. So maybe this line is new for you. We've got all the papers in and a few other embellishments, or maybe you picked this up in the past, haven't used it yet. Imagine that, <laughs> I would not have. I'd love to hoard my paper for a while first. Um, then you can add these rub-ons to your collection. So that is Prima. Next up, we've got some new punch outs. So again, remember these are like paper toll, 3D paper, um, paper layering, it's called all different kinds of things, decoupage. So this is your, uh, what it's, everything's gonna be, and then you're gonna layer these on top. There's that one with a beautiful, looks almost like a hummingbird, doesn't it? Yeah, because it's got that nice long beak. And there's the all different pieces for that one. And then this one here with the little birdhouse and then all its layers. So that one's vintage birds. Oh, more from Prima. I lied. Here was another one from Prima. So pretend like I just showed it to you before that one. This one is the acetate dragonflies and butterflies. Okay, there's that one with Prima. Pink Fresh, these little blush. So Sandy Marquette, if you are watching, my friend, this is the color that you wanted. Um, so this is the blush color. They have been out of stock for probably three, four months now. So they are back in stock. And then we also got back in stock this really pretty, um, like a magenta red, so ruby, ruby red here. This is brand new from Creative Expressions. We have not had these yet. These are called Frames and Tags Mini Bunting Flags. So those are gonna be great for little banners on your pages and your cards. Because look at the great sizes that you get in there. I'm gonna put my hand in there just so you can see the great sizes. So that's gonna be a really good die set there. So again, Frames and Tags Mini Bunting Flags. And the woodwares. Now, the girls set these out the other day. I've been out for a few days. Friday was my get ready for the graduation party day. Saturday, I was out for baseball regionals. Sunday was the graduation party. And Monday was try and get my house back in order from the past two weeks of chaos and craziness. Um, so some of these have already sold off the table. We can always get more. But right now, I've only got one of this little guy left. This one here is called Golfing Gnome. Love him. You are terrific for you. Have a perfect day just for you. This next one is called Beer Gnome. Happy Beer Day. Cheers to you. Have a beer on me. Don't worry, beer happy. <laughs> there is gnome father quite like you. Oh, very, very cute. You could even turn this into a little 21st birthday card. Stamp the number 21 in there. That would be really cute as well. Got three of that one. This one we've only got one left of. It is called Real Catch. So you can see the little gnome guy there he's got a cute little worm up there too good things come to those who bait God, some of these are so corny they're bad i love them to a real catch and then catch you later this one here a little bit more from pink fresh so these are those foiled sentiments that you guys love but this is number six and it doesn't say it anywhere on the packaging but i looked it up to make sure that was right and number six we have not had in yet so you can see number six is part silver, part gold. We've got things like let's celebrate, get well soon, hooray, thankful for you, cheers, celebrate you, kindness is magic, there is beauty in everything, you are amazing, never underestimate the difference you make. So you've got 43 of them in here for six bucks, and that is set number six. We also got back in um, some of their brushes. These are the quarter inch ones. You get six in this cute little storage box. So 
So those are back in stock. Sizzix, just a restock on our cutting pads. I try and keep in a clear, something in glitter and something in a color at all times. Some people just like clear pads. I I like the glitter or the colored ones. Um, and the reason for that is especially when they're new, the clear ones get lost on my table really, really easy. So that way I like the colored ones because I stand out and I can see them a little bit easier. So we've got the colored ones back in and this color is called, it does not say, I'm thinking it was teal or blue or something like that. But those are back in. Nuvo. Nuvo is looking at much better now. We just restocked Aqua Mist. So I'm going to do all the glitters for you first. Honey Gold. Honey Gold's a really pretty one. That one usually sells out pretty quick. Uh, Golden Sunset. Ruby Slipper. Ruby Slipper is it's pretty close to red. Um, it's probably the reddest glitter one they have. Let's see. I think that's the last on that. Okay. And then our just kind of enamel-y looking ones. We've got in Dandelion Yellow. Bubblegum Blush. Seashell Pink. Those are close, but not quite. So the Seashell Pink is a little bit um, darker. And it's a little... Um, like it's got more gray in it, whereas this one's softer and a little little peachier. If any of that made sense. Uh, let's see here. This one here is called Red Berry. And then this one here is Ebony Black. This one, I've been holding my hand for a minute, this one has a little bit of a, almost like a metallic-y sheen to it, more of a pearled look. This one is called violet galaxy again this is going to have a pearled look to it this one is navy blue and then we've got ivory seashell so ivory seashell is going to look like a pearl and then the last one we've got in is morning dew morning dew just dries clear so this is a really fun one that you can use for accents um, for shine, reflection, um, you can use it on top of things to, you know, especially like a little die cut piece. So let's say you die cut an alphabet out. You could put this on top of those to really almost make them look like epoxy or enamel. But this one is completely clear. Debbie Hayes would like Violet Galaxy. You've got it, my friend. Sarah would like the navy blue and the ivory seashell. And I've got more of these on the shelf, guys. We just put one up here. So even though I've pulled those, we have more on the shelf. We just brought one of each back here. So thank you, thank you. We'll get those pulled for you. Next up, so in our snap binder section, we needed to refill the multi-pack. So this one here, again, it's a multi-pack. So you've got different ones in here. You've got the three by four with the four by six. You've got a six by eight and a four by six in there as well. Honestly, this size and this size are our best sellers. Next after that, then it is the variety pack. Um, the three by four one probably sells a little bit slower than the variety pack. I always recommend this one if you're new to the SNAP system. That way you can kind of see which ones you're going to need more of and the ones that you're tending to use more before you start buying packs of 10 of six by eight, four by sixes, or the three by four one. So variety packs are back in, and so are our six by eight one as well. Other page protectors that came in, MBI. MBI is for a postbound scrapbook. So we got our MBI protectors back in stock. Prom stickers, right there we go, friends, back in stock. That's one of the prom stickers we keep in. I am loving that you guys are loving these little Dritz organizers. So we got our storage towers back in. So these sit right on this little, this little guy here. And then it's got this cute little handle. And they all just, just stack right on here. So they're easy on, easy off. And they've all got like a nice little clamshell here that opens up. And you can store your little brads in here, buttons, sequins, gems. Um, 
things like this. These are nice because they do come in a little pouch that reseals, but most of them do not reseal. Great for holding diamond dots. Oh, that's a great idea, Sarah. See, I, I've done a few diamond dots, but not enough to where I need anything to store my extras in yet. So great idea on your diamond dots. Love that idea. This would also be good for like if you do the wax seals then. I'm, now I'm really thinking so you could put your extra wax in these as well too. So that would be a great way to use them. Are you heading out? Yeah. If you were heading out, it means I need to get my butt out of here too. We've got baseball banquet tonight and I need to go by Rule King. you got poor Miss Cindy cat food. She is like starving. Oh, Melissa was going to ask. So yes, Melissa, um, a per Sarah here, they do work great for diamond dots. All right, next up, we've got Noah's Ark. So this is a new one. Noah's Ark, I got it in in a six by six pad and then also the 12 by 12. So we're gonna flip through the 12 by 12. Noah's Ark is they from Echo Park. I talked to Madison, one of the owners, and he said it has been one of their biggest requested lines. Um, so I took his word for it, got a few collection kits and six by six pads in. So we've got cut aparts. And then the back, oh, that would just be kind of a good little DIY page, too. So it looks like you get two of that one in there. Um, God told Noah to take two of every animal and foul onto the ark. Creatures arrived two by two and elephants and rhinos, too. So you've got, and the earth was covered in rain, 40 days, 40 nights. God gave us a rainbow. And then the back of that is just a good basic green. Then we've got a rainbow page here. The back is clouds, good little borders with all kinds of fun animals here. Here are, there's Noah right there. There's the back, a good stripe to kind of tie it all together. And there's the back and let's check out the sticker sheet. So stickers are really fun too. So that is a fun little set. Perfect for this time of year, especially if you do any Noah's Ark or Vacation Bible School. That is going to be a really good one for activities at Bible School or for documenting it. Sea Life, this is another new one for us. This one actually came in by special order, but I want to show you this one in case you need to order it too. All right, so um, it's another one from Echo Park. So again, here's your cut apart page. Cute little starfish there. <gasps> Look at the sea turtles. <gasps> Love that one. This would be a good one for going to an aquarium. There's the back. Of all the fish in the sea, I'm so glad you swam to me. Advice from the ocean, go with the flow. Come out of your shell, seize the day, make a splash, don't be crabby, just keep swimming. Oh, that's a cute little saying. I've not heard that one before. So really, really cute on that one. Good job on the back. Here's a shark page. Basic print on the back. Here's some marine life. Looks like uh, like anemones on the back or maybe jellyfish. Just a good little subtle print there. You're my favorite weirdo. <laughs> oh, that's a cute one. All kinds of again, little sea life, dots on the back, jellyfish, waves, another cut apart, good stripes, killer whale, coral. Oh, look at all the little fish. Oh, that's neat how it's got the ray coming in too. I like that back. And finally, it's sticker sheet. And now I have to do is look up, I, um, I'm pretty sure I wrote down who wanted this one. I think it came in by messenger. So sometimes I get all excited whenever you guys message in and I forget to write that down. So I'll have to check out my messages to see who wanted that. If by chance it is for you and you're watching, just go ahead and say, hey, it was me that's about, there we go. Melissa, I was thinking it was you, thank you. Um, usually whenever you and I are chatting by messenger, I just pop it in on my cell phone right away. And sometimes I'm not even at my desk, which if you guys ever email in, and I, you know, especially like on, if I'm off on a Saturday and I don't come in on 
Monday. It may take me a couple of days to get back to you by email. And the reason for that is if I'm not here with my special order book to write it down, I don't reply. Because what happens is Hannah's getting older and she forgets then. Like she thinks she's going to remember to write it down and she forgets to write it down. And then um, it doesn't get taken care of. And then that's when I have to apologize immensely. So sometimes, you know, if it's, if it's over the weekend, just keep in mind, I'm not here on Mondays with my special order book and stuff like that. So I may not get back to you right away. Sticker book back in stock for the Our Story Matters. These sticker books that, um, so Simple Stories does them, Echo Park has been doing them. You get so much good stuff in these. So I'm on the struggle bus with this. We're just going to kind of move on here. Next up, we've got collection kit in from um, Pet Shop. This is the dog themed one, if I can get the glare out, from Simple Stories. So still kind of primary colors, but not as um, bright red, bright orange, bright yellow, um, like what Doodlebug Designs did. If I flip it over, you can see it on the back. It's just a little bit more subdued, but still good, good colors on there. And I love they have big dogs on there too. Love that. All right. So sticker book here. Let me show you. Because again, you get 16 pages. So I mean, you've got alphabets in here, word strips, tabs, individual little pieces, and then they all repeat as well too. So sticker book, great value there. Adding to that Our Story Matters section, we also got back in the enamel dots. These are just good enamel dots. So this one here is a real dark navy blue. It's not black navy blue, um, kind of a bright sagey green, a light yellow, light pink, and not quite coral, but not quite mauve, real pretty pink color. For Simple Vintage Berry Fields, still a line doing well for us, and here is the washi tape back in stock for that one. Be Happy from Echo Park. Actually just reordered collection kits on this one and we are sold out of one of the papers um, completely now. So if you've been using that, you may want to check and see if you need to restock. Frames and tags are back in for this line. The card kit for Wildflower. Got two more of those to put on the shelf. This is just a good um, generic card kit. So this one is definitely a good one. Enamel dots, you've got it, Miss Becky. Find my pile here. There we go. Thank you, ma'am. The book lover line that we just got in from Memory Place. We're already sold out of the kits. So we got those back in stock. I'm going to go through here since I have shown this one before. I realize that not everybody watches me every day. Shame on you. There's a cute little cut apart page. This one here has more than just, I mean, it's a really pretty soft line. You can kind of see some of the colors there in it. Uh, some little stickers back in stock from Little Birdie. This one here is called Garden Buzz. $3.29 for that pack. Photo flips, four by sixes are back in stock. Got those. Tombow refills, three pack here. These are refills. Um, so you need the original one first. I know a lot of times people will grab this one thinking they're getting three like complete tape runners, but these are just refills. And then last but not least here, we've got some new little Prima flowers. I liked these. Um, I didn't order the line in, but I really like these because they had smaller flowers. A lot of the packs have really big flowers in them. So these are nice smaller flowers, especially if you want to do cards or just kind of fill in on your page, mini books. And there's some of the cute little insides for them there. And then the only other thing I have to show you, we're going to walk on up here. We restocked our Marvy pins today. So yay, look, oh, if you've been in the marker section, 
these guys were looking sad, so sad. So we got back in um, the lapins. This one here is the fine point, okay? So those are all back in stock. I'll kind of go through those. Blue, periwinkle, amethyst, red, oriental blue, light blue, lavender, burgundy, teal, light green, orchid, brown, green, olive, pink, orange, dark gray, and black. Then in the retro, retro were the newest ones they did. Now these, by newest, I mean, they're, it's been a couple years now, but they did magenta, pale mauve, mustard, jade green. I love this sepia one. And then also navy. Um, in the retro colors, I think sepia and navy and mustard are the, the three that sell the quickest through there. Um, and then in the lapin, oh, those all sell pretty equally as well. I mean, black, you know, is always one that's going to sell out first. And then in the flex ones, now flex has a little bit of a flexible tip on it. And let's see here, that one is not what I want to use because that's a so. Now, this is like a little scratch piece of paper I keep out here, but the flex ones have this nice little flex tip to them. So you can write, you know, with them just fine with low pressure and it's gonna look normal, but you can also do some of that fun, you know, kind of more brush lettering. And again, I'm doing this one-handed, so it makes it a little bit harder for me, where you can kind of control that angle of your pin. And I don't know why I didn't do my, my, my first H, so, I, you know, again, there's no rhyme or reason with me. But if I just kind of write normal, try in here anyway. There we go. That looks a little better. So you can kind of see that gives you a different tip depending on how much pressure you put on that pin, how thick you can get that line as you're playing around with it. Okay, so those are flex pins. In flex, we've got in, let's see here, black, dark gray, oriental blue, navy, that's what I was just using, teal, blue, green, red, brown, burgundy, magenta, and amethyst. So completely restocked on those. And then just our good little basics. We um, restock the 0 0.8. This is a 005. So that's gonna be a real fine tip one there. Now, why do you want a real, real fine tip one? These are great if you have, especially like if you still have um, wood mounts that you're using. Okay, and you miss stamp something. These are wonderful to go back and clean up what you messed up. Okay, so they are great for that, for adding those lines back in. So we've got 005, 0 0.8, there's 0.8. So it's a little bit of a thicker one. Then we've got um, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, and we've got one little 0.5 left. And then we restocked here. Oh, I think these got mixed in there. But we've got um, a couple more of these guys here, the alcohol-based ones. So these are alcohol-based, so you would not want to use these with your Copics. These here, but it will write on slick surfaces, okay? This one here is pigment-based, so it works great with your Copics, okay? All right, so, whew, okay. I think that is it. So I know, quick, short, and sweet. Sorry about that. Um, but like I said, the time really got away from me today playing catch up in here since I was gone a couple days. Um, so I've got to get to baseball banquet tonight. Yay. Our last hurrah with baseball. That was kind of, kind of tough after we did not make it out of regional, but everything must come to an end. So that was that, but it was tough. Um, and, and then, like I said, so, um, lots of do tonight yet, lots of running for this mom. Um, but I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Leslie has been doing a great job getting, um, 49 and market 
checked in for you. Um, so it is all up on the site as a pre-order. And then I believe she's even got some of the new simple stories that's going to be shipping that is um, up for pre-order as well, too. So make sure you check that out. And Debbie, I will grab those your flowers for you as well. So everybody take care. Have an amazing evening and I will see you soon. Bye.